Having trouble sleeping? Is your human keeping you awake? Perhaps he is an otaku. Here are some ways to find out. Does he show off anime or Japanese video games on social media? I love the artwork on this one. Um, there's room for five volumes, so that's freaking awesome. Let's open them up. Oh, look at this. Look at this! Oh, they actually look freaking cool. Oh, this is not just for the video. Oh, my fucking legs are in the shot only. Is he constantly watching Chinese cartoons and getting overly angsty about the characters? No, Kamina! Kamina, she's at school with you. She's your kohai. She totally wants you. She's your sister, mate! Kiss her! Oh, Mwaka, Kamina! Excalibur, Excalibur, from the United King, I am looking for hell, I am going to California. Excalibur, Twin Excalibur, if you are twinning, then you are winning, take them coming up. Wakame! Has he named you from two anime characters and when questioned, pretends your name is from Kardashian's mother? Your name will be Kuroha Kurisu. Chris for short. Sure. Does he play J-pop and J-rock songs from the 90s? Specifically, one of the best live actions ever made of all time! Does he sing karaoke, and does he pronounce it karaoke? Does he train you in martial arts and the act of ninjutsu? Ow. <laughs> All right, let's practice your kicks. Oh, that's a good one. What if you were put in a situation where you had to scale a building? How's your climbing abilities? Go!
Climb to the walls. Stick to them like a spider. Does he cosplay you as random insects? You are now a bee, Chris. Are you not looking at me because you're mad at me? Let me take it off. There you go. You happy now? You're still mad. Hmm? Okay, I'll leave you. Well, it appears you're living with an otaku. Try hiding under towels as a defense mechanism. But if that doesn't work, all is not lost. Every otaku has one hidden weak point. Find their waifu and hold them ransom. Disclaimer, waifus may or may not actually exist. Please consult a psychiatrist or an acid dealer to trip balls and find one. Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that stupid little segment. I just felt like filming something different today. And I wanted to put Chris on the channel a lot more because she's super cute and she's a really good sport. She's totally mad at me right now, so she won't come back in the camera anymore. Um, but that's okay, I'll give her some food and we'll make amends. Apart from that, I did finally cut my hair, so it feels a lot cleaner. Uh, I think it looks a lot better. What do you guys think? It's certainly a lot less to deal with when I get up in the morning trying to flatten down. I had so much hair going on. There's so much that actually came out when I cut it. Um, but yeah, new look, you know, hopefully the weather's gonna get a bit better in Australia here. Uh, just a quick announcement for any of you who are wondering, I am going to be at the Mad Men Festival on the weekend. So yes, I'll be there. And if any of you guys are there, be sure to say hello. I will be filming a video, so I've got the, if I've got the camera out, jump in the video. You know, I'm totally all for it. Uh, that'd be super awesome. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I've been going through their guide on the app to see all the stuff they have. You know, they have some Japanese voice actresses there, voice actors. Um, they have Chris Sabat who voices Vegeta, Piccolo, Yamcha, a bunch of different characters, but nearly every character from Dragon Ball Z. So I'm really excited to see him. Hopefully he does some um, impressions of the characters he voices. And there's a bunch of good movies there. Uh, there's so far three movies. Um, My Hero Academia movie, Can I Eat Your Pancreas? I'm not even kidding, that's what it's called. Uh, but that's a really recent movie. Uh, came out in the last couple of months in Japan. And Penguin Parade, which again is really recent and I don't know anything about either of those films really. And there's a bunch of usual booths and the Maid Cafe is going to be there, so all of that will be in the video. Um, so look forward to that guys, hopefully it's really really good. I've actually filmed at that convention for the last three years. I never released the first video. Uh, back then I didn't even have this YouTube channel. Uh, I had an old YouTube channel and it wasn't really even about anime, so I have all that footage. It's pretty... It's not an old camera, it's not like super HD quality or anything, but you know, hopefully I get some great footage and it'd be great to see any of you guys if you are there. So without saying any more, I'd probably end this video, you know, I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy it, it was weird, I just wanted to make something different today. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon with another video, uh, if not the anime convention video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Uh, take it easy guys.